Hey guys, hope you're doing well. These are the new Galaxy Buds Pro, and they're my first pair of noise cancelling headphones. And whilst working on the review, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about how active noise cancelling works, and also where it does and doesn't work. Let's focus on the active part, because that's what makes this technology special. Noise cancelling can also be achieved passively by blocking as much of the sound as possible from entering into your ears in the first place. So it's called active noise cancelling because your headphones are using microphones to actively listen to your surroundings so they can get rid of the unwanted noise. But how does this happen? It's actually very simple, but in order to understand what's going on, you need to learn two different words. The first one is called constructive interference, and the second one is called destructive interference. Now, I've tried explaining this a few times already, and every time it just ends up sounding a bit too complicated for my liking, so instead of explaining it to you guys, I'm going to show you what's going on. Okay, so here we are in a program called Audacity. This is what I use to record all of the audio in my videos, and it's a perfect tool to demonstrate both constructive and destructive interference. Now, I'm going to record me saying, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There we go. And I'm gonna play it back just so we're familiar with what it sounds like. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, great. And then I am going to duplicate this audio track and we're gonna play it again. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Did you notice any difference? All right, one more time, just one track. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So hopefully you've noticed that it's louder when it's playing two tracks, but why? Both recordings are the same and exactly the same volume, so why is it louder? Well, this is constructive interference, when you have two waves that are identical and in phase, in this case meaning the recordings are overlapping perfectly, a new wave is created with twice the amplitude, which is why it sounds louder. This is why when you're in a restaurant or coffee shop, you'll notice the more people are there, the louder the place becomes. Not because people are talking louder, but because there are simply more people talking. Now then, destructive interference. This is where the magic happens. So if I take this second clip and I go to effect and then invert, or in other words, I just flip the recording, the highs become the lows and the lows become the highs, and now I play it back. Silence. I'll play it once more just so you know I'm not tricking you. This is destructive interference. So when you have two waves which are the complete opposite of each other, they cancel each other out. So this is what your noise cancelling headphones are doing with their microphones. They're listening to the noise that's going on around you, and to get rid of it, they're making even more noise, but the complete opposite noise, which cancels out the original. The impressive thing is that your headphones need to be doing this in real time, otherwise it wouldn't work. Now, for those of you who own noise cancelling headphones, you may have noticed that they are very good at getting rid of some noises and not so great at getting rid of other noises. That's because they're good at eliminating predictable, consistent noises. Things like trains, planes, buses, laundry machines, dishwashers, they all produce very predictable and consistent noises which are easy for your headphones to cancel out. But if, for example, a car honks its horn or a rooster does its thing in the morning, well, your headphones can't possibly anticipate those kinds of sounds and so they get through the noise cancelling. Getting rid of unwanted noises is clearly a benefit and will help you to enjoy your music or content more whilst on the move, but there's another benefit that may not be so obvious. See, with normal headphones, when it's too noisy around you, you may resort to increasing the volume of your content, which may work, but listening at high volumes for a long time may eventually damage your ears. ANC allows you to listen to your music at a more reasonable volume level whilst still being able to hear it clearly and without any noise pollution. That's basically where we are today and that's how noise cancelling technology works and I have no doubt that in the future noise cancelling will go way beyond just headphones. For example, wouldn't it be cool if let's say your neighbours are having a party at 1am and you're trying to get some sleep? Well, 
why not use your speaker system to cancel out the noises coming from upstairs so you can get some much needed rest? Or let's say you're in a public space trying to have a private conversation so you could use your Bluetooth speaker to cancel out the sounds that you're making so that other people don't know what's going on. Well, lip readers will know, but most people won't. Sorry, I tend to get off track when I'm imagining the future, but I do think it's a very cool technology and I do think it's going to see more and more use cases going forward. Thanks guys for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys next time.